Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So it has been just a little while since we've heard about the PlayStation portal. This tweet came out just a little bit ago, and it was from The Flow. And if we go ahead and we click on this link here, because it was just simply a link, you'll see that it says here that there is a PlayStation portal stack buffer overflow in the Havoc decoder or HEVC. And so we can see that the affected version is basically anything underneath 2.06. So 2.05 and below, for example, and that this has been patched in version 2.06. Now it states down here in the summary that the Havoc decoder used in the PlayStation Portal's remote play does not validate the length of elements copied to an array. This results in an out-of-bounds write on the stack and may lead to RCE, or remote code execution. In addition to this buffer overflow, gaps in PlayStation's portal's patchings were identified to be vulnerable to this CVE. And if we go to that CVE, then we can just see that this is a memory corruption error while submitting a large list of sync points in the aux command. And you can see over here that it does have a severity of 8.4 out of 10. Now, in the severity here, we can see that it is moderate. It says a user who is able to execute this buffer overflow can modify the PlayStation Portal to run arbitrary code. This affects the PlayStation Portal and all remote play clients now, we already know what type of applications that we can run on this because the flow has given us a sneak peek of that already. And he had said right here that PPSSPP, which is a PlayStation Portable emulator, is running natively on the PlayStation Portal. Now, there is the proof of concept code that has been provided right here. And... This is basically the code block for it. Now, I don't know exactly how we will be able to run this right now, but I'm sure that we will be given lots of information soon about that. It does state here that this results in an out-of-bounds write in the array and may lead to RCE. This affects the PlayStation Portal and all other remote-bound clients for iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac OS. It says, additionally... The PlayStation Portal has patch gaps and is vulnerable to this CVE, which may allow an attacker to escalate privileges. So we can see right here, we've got a timeline. It was reported on 221. It was fixed on 53. It was disclosed on 62. And it looks like as of today, June the 14th, we have a proof of concept. So I will obviously be covering this as time goes on, especially showing you how you can do that on your own PlayStation Portable. Anyway, that's just a quick update for right now. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, ow!